YouTube here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, sorry, it's been a couple days since I posted it. I'm trying to get better about posting more often. But today, we're going to be doing um, a video about how to hatch and care for praying mantis egg sacs. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Before we start the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and go follow my Instagram. Okay, so what I have right here is just a Dollar Tree little uh, container. Oh my gosh, that is nice and bright. Um, oh, there we go. But it's a little container. I already poked a couple holes in the lid and I actually cracked it. And then there's a hole right here. I just cut it out. But this is the container we're gonna be using for the egg sac. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to set this up. So sorry about this red thing right here. That's the water holding up my, uh, my camera. But anyway, here's the container. The lid has five holes in it, plus a crack, plus this giant one, so that there's air getting through there. Um, I did these with like a tack, and then this I just cut out with a with a knife. It's not the best cut; uh, it's really sharp. But to fix that, to make this um, baby praying mantis proof, we also have a paper towel, a pair of scissors, the crafters tape. It's like the uh, it's like that glue tape. Um, it's really really sticky. Uh, it's it's really strange, but this is the best stuff to use. You could get away with using hot glue or something like that. But we're just going to pop the lid down. And we're going to go ahead and just cut a reasonably large piece of paper towel for this. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rest it on top of the container. And then... Screw it on, screw on the lid, make sure it's on tight. And then we can go ahead and just take the scissors and just cut around the edges. All right, so now that all the edges are cut off, I'm gonna unscrew the lid. And now the paper towel is in there like perfect. So we're just gonna take it out. It's in the perfect place. We're gonna take our glue tape or crafters tape and we're just gonna take it and we're just gonna figure out how to use this broken one. All right, now that we got all the glue tape on there, that was a miserable process. But now we're just gonna take our paper towel back and just place it in here and push it down. Make sure it's all placed in there properly and just push it down so that it sticks to that glue tape. Now this is your finished lid because now the praying mantis, the baby praying mantises cannot get out. Um, oh, paper towels flying everywhere. And then what we're gonna do is just add some stuff in there and then set up the praying mantis egg sac and I'll show you the praying mantis egg sac and then we'll just talk about it a little more afterwards. So here's the praying mantis egg sac. Um, it was laid June 9th, 2021, uh, 2022, sorry. Um, and these will hatch within uh, two weeks of being laid. So it is June 21st, so however many weeks that is, I'm not gonna do that right now because um, my mask's off right now. But anyway, inside the container, I just put down a paper towel, I cut it down to size, and I just put it in there as a bottom. And then what we're gonna do is we're just, I'm just gonna add a stick and break it down to size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, open this up so that just the mesh is out here. So let me take this out and show you the full thing. It's pretty wicked looking. It's like a foam almost. That's what it feels like. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, but yeah, I got this from a local nursery. Uh, they were selling they had a lot of these. I got it for uh, $12, I think. They're selling a lot of other stuff, but I'm just gonna put it in the mesh bag. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a stick. I got this stick right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and slide that through part of the mesh. And then pop that whole contraption in there. So now the stick is um, holding that praying mantis egg sac in. 
me push the sides of this uh, paper towel down more. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this paper towel just to keep it one down and two, keep uh, humidity in there. I'm gonna do that after this. But then what I'm also gonna do is I have this fake foliage. I'm just gonna put that in there for when they hatch, they have something else to climb on. And then put the lid on and you're set. And now you just wait two weeks for that to hatch. So here's the finished product. It's pretty inexpensive to make and it's just, what they need um it's pretty small you're gonna obviously move them up to something bigger uh when they get bigger but in about two weeks they're gonna hatch when they hatch make sure you wait till they're in l2 and there's different stages of the praying mantis life there's the l1 is when they're hatched that's day one l2 is after the first molt and that's when you should <coughs> move them into a, a larger container you can still keep them together and there's l3 l4 L5, 6, 7, and then up to 8. L8 is when they're full grown. Um, I'd say like L3, L4 is when they get pretty big, and that's when you can move them into their separate thing, their separate enclosures so that they don't kill each other. You're going to get so many babies off of this. You'll probably have two or 300 babies from an egg sack. Um, but at L, L2 or 3, you might be able to start feeding them. I, I personally go with L4. L4 is when I feed them, and... Um, what you do is because they're so small, they can't catch any bug. So you take a little skewer or a tiny stick with a really small tip and you put some honey on the tip of it and then you can feed them that way. When they reach about an L5 to 8, you can start feeding them bugs. They'll eat crickets, they'll eat mealworms, they'll eat roaches, they'll eat flies. They'll really eat any bug that's large enough for them to catch and eat. Um, I'd say stick with crickets as their main source of food just because they're the easiest to get. Uh, you buy it from a pet store or something. Um, stay, stray away from feeding wild insects because they could possibly have diseases um, and you don't want to get your praying mantis as sick. But yeah, that's really all the stuff about all you really need to know. And uh, I'm going to post some update videos um about when they hatch and then we'll go over some more in-depth stuff uh but that'll be probably uh well it's the 21st this was laid on the 9th so n n hopefully not too much longer but there will be an update video eventually but uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one peace